your discretion. Hey everybody, it's the Fobra. And uh, we decided to head up to Cycle Gear's grand opening. I threw it up on my Facebook page. And uh, this guy, Steven, with CBR250R, decided to meet up. And uh, we met him with him last weekend for Operation Cheesecake NYC 2013, hosted by the Bronx Bomber, the X Bomber 2011. Um, and there have been a couple of music videos put out. I put one out, I know Mark did. Um, I think he did Bronx Bomber, uh, Eric at Zone. Um, what happened was Ooh. when we were going down Park Avenue, there's a lot of things that happened that day. First of all, it was awesome. It was great. The weather was great. We had a great turnout. We had 13 bikes. And then I forgot his name. A really nice guy. He had a um, green Ninja 250. He had to take off halfway through a ride. But um, even so, we, I mean, we had a nice solid showing considering it was uh, mid-October. And uh, like I said, you know, I, I can't take credit for the event. It was not my event. I just attended it and I tried to let people know about it. And it was great. It really, really was a fun time. But Eric at Zone, he's got a um, Triumph um, Street Triple. And, um, you know, this has happened to me before. I know this has happened to a lot of riders. If the cuff of your pant gets stuck on your foot peg, and I actually had that happen on a set of jeans one time, and I was lucky because I got so pissed off, I pushed my foot down so hard it simply ripped the jeans, you know, ripped the, the side of the leg, and I was able to get my foot down. I thought, holy crap, what if I didn't get, get be able to get my foot down? And that's what happened to Eric. We're going down Park Avenue. He was, um, I don't know if he was next to Johnny Diesel or right next to Mark. And he went to put his foot down, and the cuff got caught in his um, his uh, foot peg, the foot peg. And he went down. You know, maybe he was going one mile an hour of that. Um, and I'm watching it in my rearview mirror. I actually saw him fall. And over the centers, I heard, you know, somebody, I heard Mark yell, oh, no. Oh, oh my God. It's something like that. I was like, did Eric just fell? Did Eric just fall? And, um, you know, I got to tell you, everybody just stopped. We got off our bikes. We went over there, made sure he was okay. Mark was busting my balls because I picked up the part of his clutch lever that broke. I was like, you know, what am I going to do? I saw it. I picked it up. I handed it to him. But the point is, you know, when you ride, and I've said it before, and this is a perfect example, you really need to trust the people that you're with. You need to be able to count on them. And everybody just kind of stopped and um you know checked on him and we told him listen pull over we're gonna hang out we're gonna relax for for a couple of minutes just to, you know make sure you're okay and that's what we did and the ride went right on and other than a bruised ego a broken clutch lever and i think some scratches on the case the bike's fine he's fine and, and the ride went on um you know, you're riding with good people, and it really, it really showed itself there. And Eric was so appreciative. And if you don't know who he is, Zone Television, check him out. Um, he's got a, he's got a great like broadcasting voice, and he does some um, talks about MotoGP and the motorcycle industry. And um, he's done a couple of music videos. I know he did one for Operation Cheesecake over the summer. So check him out too. Um, later on in the day, we were riding through the Bronx. 12 of us, nice formation, not doing anything stupid. It was an NYPD checkpoint. And, uh, you know, they pulled us in. I, I don't, I kind of don't blame them. I know, listen, I hate the motorcycle profiling. I talked about it one time before. But it was already set up, and they were pulling over anybody they wanted to. And they pulled us in, and they were kind of being a little bit of dicks, a little bit in the beginning. We took our helmets off. We gave them our licenses. They realized we were, were a bunch of, weren't a bunch of a-holes. They were actually very cool. And it's funny because in Bronx Bomber's video, one of the uh, officers was giving him, you know, giving him some grief. I don't know, on our side of the van, they were super cool. They thanked us for being so accommodating. They said, hey, you know, hope you guys get a lot of more rides before the, before the weather gets too cold for you. It was just really cool. They didn't run our licenses. They just checked out, I guess, checked out to make sure that we had motorcycle endorsements. And uh, yeah, everything was fine. It was a good time. So, you know, there you go. You, you got to know who you're riding with. And I'll tell you, the people who rode on Cheesecake NYC, I didn't know all of them. Like, I didn't know this guy. But the guys that I rode with last weekend, I would ride with them anytime. Classy guys, you know, responsible, 
great sense of humor. I mean, we had a lot of fun. We went down to uh, City Island. We had, um, I don't know where the heck we are right now. We went down to um, some seafood place. And, you know, it was good. It was good. We had some, a lot of laughs down there. It was just really, really cool. I hope there's a way out of here. This jackass takes us wherever he feels like it. We can't go there. It's a dead end. But anyway, that was it. So right now, we just came from Cycle Gear. I stopped in. I bought myself a new set of gloves, which I'll do a review on, I guess. And I'm wearing my new jacket, my new Dionese jacket, which I will do a review of. And while I was there, because it's so cold, I bought some of that freeze-out stuff. I know NT8 has talked about it. Mark picked up a little bit about it. Oh, look at that. I'm going the wrong way. See, I told you, you putz. So um, I picked that up. I'm actually wearing that right now. What are we doing? Is this a merry-go-round? What the hell are you doing? Merry-go-round? Where are we going? Go. All right, go back. Huh? So, yeah, I mean, it was great. The freeze-out stuff, I got to tell you, it's about, that's probably about 50 degrees now. And I'm actually sweating between this jacket and the freeze-out. And my hands are really warm with this thing. These things are a freaking steal for 30 bucks. Uh, no, 40 bucks. It's certainly have a five-year warranty. Um, these are the built gloves. And let me tell you, these guys at Cycle Gear, I really like the place. Um, oh, man, this came undone. I really like the place. They have good stuff. They know what they're talking about. Forget about the fact that Steven walked in and five minutes later, he won a helmet, which sucked. Good for him. <laughs> I didn't win anything, but you know what? I had fun. So I think we're going to head back there because Mark wants to look at the RF-1200 um, um, showy helmets. Um, I'm thinking about getting one of those as well, but maybe next year. I mean, I only have two seasons on my on my Scorpion EXO 1100, but he's itching to get something, so we'll see what he says. But it'll be good to see them anyway. All right, we're going to enjoy the ride, and I hope you are as well. I hope you're out there enjoying it. And if you're getting your last rides in before the cold, get them. And if you don't care about the cold, get a ride in anyway. All right, ride safe, everybody. Take care. See ya. So you got to come down to Operation Cheesecake next year. We got um, Wild Bill... Ninja Nachi. Do you watch uh, LFOD 74? No, who's that? Yeah, I don't know. I don't watch him either.